to another video. Today's video is going to be a what I got at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter haul. So I recently went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter um, in Universal Studios Orlando and I had a blast. I had so much fun there. The rides were so amazing. The park was just beautiful and I had so 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 much fun and of course I bought a lot of stuff because I am a huge Harry Potter fan as most of y'all know already but um I'm just going to show y'all what I got and um yeah but uh just a disclaimer I'm not trying to brag in any way shape or form I've saved up my money for a very very long time because I knew how expensive this stuff was going to be and I knew that I really really wanted to get a lot of stuff because I don't know when I'm um, going to go back so um I just piled up on a whole bunch of stuff and um, I'm just here to show you it because I like watching hauls and I know y'all like watching hauls so um, that's why I'm doing this video right now and I actually made a little vlog montage little video um, before this so if you want to check it out I can put it in the description I can put it in the description box below and um, go check that out. I had tons of fun and now let's just get right onto this video. Woo! Okay, so first off, um, when I first went there, I knew I wanted to get a wand. And um, so um, I really wanted to get chosen for this little ceremony that they have where you go in and there's about 20, 25 people in this room and Ollivander like the Ollivander man comes down the stairs and he chooses one of the um, people in the room to do this like wand ceremony with where you come up and like the wand actually chooses the wizard. So we went into the we went into it the first time and I didn't get chosen. So like I just got a wand. Oh, it's upside down. So this is the bag that it comes in. It's very cute. It just says Ollivander's um, makers of fine wands since 382 BC. And they come in these really cool bags. This bag actually got wrinkled really badly from the plane and then having to carry it around like and put it in the lockers on the rides and stuff. But since I didn't get chosen and um, it, I wanted to be able to do the spells and stuff, I got Luna Lovegood's wand. It says Luna Lovegood. And I got the interactive wand, which means it comes with this um, map. And you can, this is the Diagon Alley map. And this is the Hogsmeade app. And, Hogsmeade map and it shows you all the little places that you can do spells and like the little windows or like there's a whole bunch of different ones I remember I did one where there was this umbrella and the waters came out and there was this mermaid one in the fish spit water and there was um one where you do it and the penguin dances across it there's one where a book opens but I got Luna Lovegood's wand and Luna is one of my all-time favorite characters her and Sirius are my favorite um Harry Potter characters and it just looks like this and I love her wand it's just so dainty and beautiful and it it's the interactive one so it has like the little sensor on the tip and um yeah so I got this wand first and I just love it but then I used Luna's wand like all day the first day because I was there two days so um I used Luna's wand basically all day and then at the end of the day because I went in the morning when the line was not short for the little thing and then in the afternoon like cl closer to closing time I went again just because like I mean I really wanted to get chosen like I was dead set on getting chosen and everything so I went again and guess what I got chosen so um I got another bag and luckily since it was like the end of the day I wasn't riding any more rides and the plane didn't squish it too much so this bag is like very clean I got another one it says the same thing as the other one but then I got chosen so I got to come up there and you try like two different ones and the third one's the one that matches you and it was just so much fun and this box um has the little Ollivander symbol and then it says Ollivander's makers of fine wands since 382 BC and this is the wand that shows me. I also got it in interactive, so it comes with another map. And it looks like that. And it is um, ivory with dragon heart string. And I'm pretty sure it's like a 13 inches. 13 inches. And it's just got like this on the end it's just really really pretty and so this is like my wand so I'm very very happy that I got chosen and like 
This is probably one of my favorite things I got out of my whole um, souvenir haul. So, yeah. So, let's go on to the next thing. So, I got Buckbeak, and it's just a little hippogriff stuff animal. And I got him from the little pet store. I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. But, um, it's just a little Buckbeak. And then, going along with the stuffed animals, I got a pygmy puff. Can't see it. I got a pygmy puff, and it purrs. So I got this at Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, because um, I always wanted one, and... Um, I named it Fred after Fred and George, so I named it Fred, um, but it's just, it's really cute and it purrs and it's just, um, just a little pygmy puff and I love pygmy puffs, so I got that at Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, and then also at Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, I got a little, um, love potion. I didn't open, I haven't opened it yet because I didn't want it to, like, spill on the plane, but, um, I'm pretty sure it's, like, just some, like, liquid, um, says liquid sweets I think it goes in like tea or something like that but it just says love potion it's just really cute I'm probably gonna use it just for designs though because I don't really drink tea unless it's sweet so um it just has this little tassel it's just really cute and I just thought it was very I just I just had to have it so next I got this butterbeer souvenir cup just says butterbeer on the sides it's just held like this and um we got this with actual butterbeer in it and we drank it and it was very very fun i got a whole bunch of pictures with it so um we got these and we used this throughout the park and it was very very good um i'm definitely gonna use it maybe make some homemade butterbeer i don't know but um use it just for like drinks and stuff and it's just a cute little decoration it's probably gonna go on the shelf but <laughs> you know and then i going along with the drinks and stuff we also got this gilly water it's basically water. It's it's plain water, let me be real. It's plain water, but it's called Gilly Water, and it just has a little thing, and it's just tying it in. It says the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's just Gilly Water, and I just kept the bottle because, you know, it's just a fun little thing to have put on the shelf, keep as a souvenir, you know that? And the last drink thing that I got is this pumpkin juice, and I got it mainly for the cup, um the cup because look how cute it is i mean it says pumpkin juice and it's got this little pumpkin on the top that you can take off with the lid and it's just um very very cute and it's a big part of harry potter so um i personally it was kind of an iffy drink um it tasted kind of like cold pumpkin pie uh, i love pumpkin pie but the aftertaste is what got me the aftertaste was all cinnamon and i cannot stand cinnamon if it's like really really uh bold in like a drink or in food so um i personally didn't like it so my dad drank it but i kept the bottle and yeah i'm gonna put it on a shelf like the other drinks so we rode the gringotts escape from gringotts ride a whole bunch of times and um when you go on the ride you go and you go like first you go into these like the actual gringotts bank and they have all the goblins lined up and then they have um, the head goblin in the center and this is the head goblin in this and um, but when you keep going in you go to this green screen picture thing and they take your picture in front of like the head goblin but it's like actually a green screen and so we got this picture it's just really cute to me and my dad because we're the only two that went and um, it's just us with the head goblin it says green gods down here and it's just really really cute and it also came and it was like our souvenir picture and instead of getting like on the rides, we got that one. It also comes in this cute little folder that says like Gringotts. Um, you open it up and the picture is right there. And it says like Wizarding Bank. Very, very cute. And next I got a Quibbler. And this is just a front page of the Quibbler. And it comes with the actual um, Spectre Specs. Like the actual... It comes with like the actual uh, glasses that Luna was wearing in the movies, but I don't think, and you can pop them out and actually wear them, but I don't think I'm actually going to wear them. I'm just going to frame this and like hang it up, but it just looks like that and it's just the quibbler and it's got like the front cover and it's just 
very, very cute, and I just knew I had to have it because I love Luna, and then, like, her family's so loony. Had to get that. Then, next, I got a Deluminator, and when I saw this, I just, like, it just stuck in my head because I wasn't going to get it at first because I didn't know if it was going to fit in my suitcase, and it was also, like, $40, so I was like, do I really, really want to pay $40 for this Deluminator? So, like, we went to the store the first time, and then I was like, no, and then we left, but then we came back the second day to get a snow globe. And so when we went back to the store, I saw it again. And I was like, I'm going to get it because, like, it's just so cool. And, like, um, I haven't tested it out, but it really works. So I was like, yeah, I'll get it. And I really, really like it. I haven't tried it yet, but I really hope it works. And, yeah. So I am a Hufflepuff, but in the whole both parks, they were all sold out of Head Girl Hufflepuff pins so uh Gryffindor is my second house so I got a Gryffindor um head girl pin because I love the head girl pins and um I really wanted a Hufflepuff one but they were sold out of all the stores and I didn't want a prefix badge because they weren't as pretty as these are so I got head girl and it's Gryffindor so it's like my second house and like that's like the main house in the book so I was just like why not so I got that I got um this shirt and gotta represent my boy Harry here. So I got this Gryffindor 07 um, quidditch shirt and it says Potter on the back. And I actually wore this in my vlog. So if you saw that, you'd see me wear the shirt. And it's just got the stripes along the shoulders and then around the cuff of the sleeve. And it just says Gryffindor 7 because that was his number on the quidditch team. And it says Potter on the back. And I love this shirt so much. I saw a whole bunch of people wearing it. I was like, that shirt is so cute. I have to find it. So I finally found it and I got it. So I'm very happy with it. It's very comfortable. And yeah. My last clothing item that I got is this Hufflepuff sweatshirt. It's like a, it's like a sweatshirt, but it doesn't have a hood. So I don't really know what it's called. But it just says Hufflepuff right here. And it's got the Hufflepuff crest on the sleeve right there it's got yeah so even though it's summer i still brought a sweatshirt because i just thought it was so cute and the letters are so good and everything and it's just perfect last uh place that i went to is um honey dukes and honey dukes is a candy shop for y'all who don't know and i got tons of tons of candy i went hard at honey dukes i went so 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 hard the first thing that i got at honey dukes was this chocolate frog and it's just a uh, chocolate frog and the frog is huge inside of this huge 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 and it's like solid chocolate and it also comes with a wizarding card and i got helga hufflepuff um lucky me because i am a hufflepuff so i really wanted helga or dumbledore so um i got helga hufflepuff and uh i was very excited about that so i got the chocolate frog next i got peppermint toads because i love um peppermint stuff and i love chocolate so i was like peppermint toes that sounds really it is dark chocolate and i'm not a big fan of dark chocolate but i'm gonna i'm probably gonna enjoy these anyways and then if i don't i can always just put them on the shelf like my other stuff this haul should really just be stuff i'm putting on my shelf but after that i got um fizzy Whizbees, and it's chocolate and it's got like pop rocks um, inside of it so it's like chocolate with pop rocks and I love pop rocks and I love chocolate so I think these are gonna be very good and next I got a package of um, birdie bots every flavored beans and um, it just looks like that and it's got it all the way across and it's got all these um, jelly beans in it and they have a whole bunch of different flavors and I'm scared to try these so if you want to see them um, if you want to see me try these in a taste test video then give this video a thumbs up and um, maybe I'll get like one of my siblings or one of my friends to do it with me. So um, we can taste these. Um, they're jelly beans. I know I'm going to be keeping the box for my shelf. So um, yeah, got those. Uh, next, I got this little tin. And it says Honey Duke. So I just thought it was so cute. Especially the tin for decoration once all the candy's gone. And the candy inside it is Sherbert Lemons. Dumbledore's favorite. And I actually really enjoyed these. Like, um, I've had a couple already. And I really enjoyed these. They're like, they take forever to eat though. So like, it's like, literally you're just sucking on the lawn. Uh, 
like you're you're just like sucking on this candy for like ever but it's really good it's really got a lemon flavor so if you don't like lemon you probably won't like these but i really liked them just says honey duke since got green going around the back and it's just a very cute tin the tin's definitely gonna go on my shelf so this is the you know poo um the constipation the constipation sensation that's gripping the nation and friend and george talk Fred and George talked about this a lot in the book. It was like, don't worry about you know who, get yourself some you know poo or something like that. Um, and um, we actually got two of these, one for my brother, and we tried his, and they're, they taste just like green M&M's, so they're very good. And they come in just this glass jar, so I can always keep the jar once I eat all the candies. So, yeah. And lastly, I got a sugar quill. And it's just red. And actually, the guy who was checking um, all my candy out uh, told me that you can put this in water or, like, lick it or something. And it will actually write, which I think is very cool. And I just got it in this red color. So, yeah. That is going to be the end of my Harry Potter haul. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to become a part of the hand fam. So, I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>